Hello and welcome to my second video of my portal frame series and in this video I'll show you how to draw in steel connections using the uh, steel connection drawing tool in Revit and for each of these connections uh, I will make a separate video on how to go and detail each one because I realize that I cannot fit all the content of all the different connection types in this video so without further ado let's get started so to draw a connection all you need to do is go to the steel tab and if I were to click on this connection button right now and click on this drop down box I can see that there are no connections that are imported yet so I'll exit the tool by uh, hitting escape once uh, twice sorry uh, to import new connections, you just need to click on this small arrow button over here called Connection Settings. Left click it once, and you can see a new pop up window will emerge. You can see that there are two different lists over here one called the Available Connections, and the other is called the Loaded Connections. So, in the Available Connections, these are all the types of connections that Revit has by default that we can import into our drawings and use them directly and the loaded connections list is the list that contains all the connections that are imported in our drawing in this case it's empty which means we don't have any so for this video we only need an apex haunch base plate a clip angle and a knee or frame with a haunch which is this one right here and I click OK now to draw a connection all I need to do is just click on this connection button once uh, click on the drop down box and say if I want to draw in the apex haunch uh, just left click on this option and to draw in this apex haunch all I need to do is select these two roof beams together so I can do this by holding down control and left clicking uh, once I've selected the two roof beams, all I need to do is press enter once and left click elsewhere and Revit would have already drawn the connection. The reason why you can't see it is because the visibility graphics uh, override has not been set to see connections yet. So I just left click on edit once and scroll down to find structural connections and there's a drop down box over here and you can see that all these options here like anchors, bolts and plates and so on they are not picked what this means is that I will not be able to see any connection that I draw in the 3D view if these boxes are not ticked so I need to tick all of these and then hit apply and then OK then now you can see the connection over here so now I'll proceed with the drawing of the other connections so I draw in the clip angle for the beam to column connection and then I'll draw in the knee of frame bolted with haunch which is the connection between the roof beam and the column so select them and hit enter but hold on a minute I get a error message over here that says that the connection has failed not to worry so just uh, click X on this warning all we need to do to fix this problem believe it or not is just select the column and press space once and you can see the haunch already so Revit is quite particular with the orientation of columns so for this particular connection uh, which is a haunch uh, you, you need to connect this haunch to the flange of a column and not the web. So just bear that in mind sometimes when you have problems with uh, Revit connections. All you need to do is most probably rotate the column and you should be able to draw it in. So before we draw in our end plate or base plate for our column, we need to resize our slab and I'll show you why. So if I go to level 0 plan view, and I zoom in I can see that 
you say I have this column over here and I want to draw a base plate going around this column uh, if I were to do that it would already extend beyond the slab over here so all I need to do is extend the slab in all directions so I can do that by clicking on edit on edit sketch and selecting this one side and dragging it by a certain distance if I want to see the amount that I've already moved in this direction I can just use this temporary dimension tool and move it and I can see that I've already moved this side by 0 0.7 meters so let's just say I want to move it only by 50 centimeters or 0 0.5 meters just type up 0 0.5 and it will automatically change it for me then I can do the same thing for each of the other sides so in this case I'll just uh, key in 4.5 meters same for this side here as well and this side and we've already extended our slab and all we need to do is left click on finish edit mode then we can see that our slab has already extended on all sides already by 50 centimeters so now going back to the 3D view we can draw in our final connection which is the base plate so just select this column select slab hit enter once left click elsewhere and there you have it so that's how you can use Revit uh, connection drawing tool in the steel tab to draw in your steel connections for your portal frame and I'll have separate videos on how to go and detail each of these uh, connections like how to go and space out the bolts, how to adjust this uh, apex haunch and so on. And if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more Revit tutorial videos like this you can uh, consider subscribing and uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about the late uploads because I've been fairly busy with school work recently and hope you're doing fine in this pandemic and staying safe and see you next time goodbye